You flip it when it's juicy, you leave it two more minutes, and then that's it, and it rests, and that's that. Hey, I'm Patty Himich, and we're here in my home, and my kids are helping me film this video. We're not making carne asada tacos like the way I grew up thinking about it, having been born and raised in Mexico City. We're doing the carne asada like I learned how to make it in Sonora. When I went to Sonora, the perception completely changed. The carne asada is not just a grilled piece of meat or a taco. Carne asada is the soul of the region and it's such an experience that happens every week where families and friends gather in small groups and making the most of the ingredients that your land gives you or that you're able to find. They treat the carne with so much respect. The less that you do to it, the better parrillero you can be and the better the meat tastes. They go for two kinds of meat. I mean, these are really accessible, not expensive cuts of meat that in other places are used for stewing or for braises. With a sirloin, you get like a soft, juicy, tender bite. And with a chuck roll, you get a much sturdier, like chewier, fun to bite into piece of meat that has more flavor. Very typical for people in Sonora to have a combinado. If you're a good parrillero, you need to clean your grill with a white onion, so just a big piece of onion. Not only are you cleaning it, but you're seasoning it. You see how the onion is like cleaning the grill? It's really, it's really cool, you guys. It smells like a charred salsa. I already want to taco that onion, you know? <laughs> Of course, you can use the onion to make a salsa or whatever it is because that's just nice and seasoned. And then you ask your butcher or you just cut a big piece of fat. It's just beef tallow, which is the beef lard or the beef fat. You could use oil as well, but this is just much more flavor. And then you can just leave the piece of fat there. It just will keep on charring and it'll become chicharron and then you can eat it too. Everybody there seasons the meat with only salt and preferably sea salt on one side of the meat. It has to be enough salt to give the meat flavor so I'm packing it. Ready guys? Yep. I know it is so hot. The, the grill is like 500 degrees you guys. You know when to flip the meat when the juices come to the top they start to bubble. You see you have that nice char. So oh, that looks so good. Oh, you guys. And then once you flip, it's just like two minutes. They sizzle with such big amounts of salt, it creates like a very quick, intense brine. So it seasons the meat from the top down, while the bottom part of the meat gets a clean char. And you can see how nice the fat cooked. So I'm dicing everything with the fat and all. Mmm, mmm, you guys, so good. Most of the people that I talk to like a combinado. So you look at this one, guys. In, in a carne asada in Sonora, there's really no choice. Like all of the meat is always cooked a little bit over medium, just a little bit pink. Do you want flour tortilla or do you want a Lorenza? What do you want? There's two ways to, to build your carne asada taco. One is with the flour tortillas, it's soft and pliable. And you know that the tortilla has heated well when it pops a little. The tortilla really is like pita bread, like it needs to puff so that you know that the tortilla is hot inside so it's malleable and it doesn't break. And to be a worthwhile carne asada taco from a Sonoran carne asada, the taco must not be able to close. That is like the one big rule. Like if you're able to close the taco, that means your taco sucks. And I'm having trouble closing this one. So this means it's a good taco. Okay, so I know this is for Sammy, but I'm like <laughs> one bite and then it's yours. Mm -hmm. You guys! <laughs> My favorite way of eating the carne asada taco 
is in what they call a lorenza it uses corn tortillas and i'm just crazy for corn tortillas and they brush it with water and a little bit of salt and they turn it into a tostada like here on the grill and then it becomes crispy and crunchy like this like it's crunchy crunchy all of the toppings find places to hide and it's such a delight to not just a little like you want a nice big layer here i'm using shredded oaxaca but you can use any melty cheese so it's like a mountain of cheese so let me close this for a second okay oh okay okay on top of this throne you're going to put the meat I mean, look at that. Mm. You guys. See, and it's like, ah, it's cheesy, it's the beans, it's the meat, the guacamole, the salsa. Mm -hmm. Mostly it's about sharing it with the people you love. I hope you can all try this and make it at home because it is so worthwhile and it's easy. I hope you're inspired. Wait, let's take a bite of that one. Oh, yeah. Wait, then you hold these and I'll, and I'll take a video. Huh? Ready?